welcome friends to another edition of Tiffin Box TV in let me start over sure Ugh. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to talk a little bit about inspire in, in, uh. almost immediately um, what am I gonna say I'm gonna say uh, okay here we go three <clears throat> two one welcome friends to another edition of Tiffin Box TV I'm your host Seishu and this is a second or third in a series of talks with Inspire Photo Retreat instructors. And I am immensely pleased to speak with Eric Loritz today. Eric is a, a phenomenal photographer um, and he does weddings and headshots and family portraits. And he's a wonderful storyteller to tell her too. Um, he is now located in Virginia, but he used to be, be, belong, I guess I should say, right? Yeah, no, that, that's accurate. Belong I, I, I to New belong, England. I still belong to New England. There you go. My heart will um, always, always live in <laughs> Eric is going to be speaking at Inspire again this year, and this is not his first time around uh, at Inspire. He's come, he's coming back, and I wanted to talk to him about his background a little bit and really about his presentation this year. So thanks for joining us today. Oh, yeah, man. I'm psyched to be here. Um, I dug myself out, uh, and uh, so I carved a path out to the studio. There you go. Three and a half feet of snow, <laughs> and you made it. Yeah, yeah, we made it. We made it. Awesome. Hey man, let's let's talk about your background. I mean, you've been a photographer for a number of years. You exceptional at what you do. Um, you you've spent a good deal of time learning the art of telling stories mm -hmm. through pictures, and and that seems to be important to you. Yeah. Why? Why is it so important to you? You know, I I've, I've always felt that the clearest and cleanest way to get your message across. Um, to an engaged audience is through stories. Um, and um, some people know, some don't. I, I went to music school, and after that, I um, went to a conservatory and got my master's in acting. Um, and I was not particularly good at either art form, but what I sort of realized after I left, left conservatory was that um, it really is kind of all storytelling in one form or another. You know, it's just using different vocabulary. Um, whether it's musical notes or Shakespeare or, you know, someone else's words that you're performing, you're really telling stories. Um, and telling stories have this really crazy way of sneaking their message in under the skin when you think you're being entertained. Um, and playwrights are brilliant at that. Um, and so when I finished conservatory, I had, I had, you know, I had a camera in my hand and I was surrounded by actors. Uh, and I sort of, this, this kind of light went off in my head one day during my third year and I was I was thinking you know I'm not great at this but what I seem to have a knack for is noticing the most amazing things in people that even they don't notice about themselves or other people don't notice I just I think I think people are amazing they're incredible like the good ones the bad ones there's always something interesting in everybody and for some reason I just had this natural knack of of seeing that and finding that and so I started thinking Man, what what if I could what if I could show everybody else how awesome this person is and, and what they're missing, and that sort of led to headshots. You know, I was surrounded by actors, and every actor just loves to be in front of the camera, and you know they wanted practice at getting their headshots taken, and I wanted practice at shooting headshots, and so you know all day long we just play around and I'd figure out stuff, and um, by the time my years my th my three years were over, I had. A, decent portfolio put together of headshots and uh you know all the big new york actors that came out to uh out to, to colorado to to work with a the theater company there i got to shoot their headshots like uzo adupa who um is now on um orange is the new black she plays crazy eyes she's awesome you know a bunch of these folks that have been in broadway and you know bill pullman was there and like all these amazing people who you know said sure i'd love to sit for headshots or like hey can i sit for headshots for you and, and yeah things led to things and you know here i am about a decade and a half later there you um, go and, you, and you've been doing this uh clearly with the start of in in, in headshots and then mm -hmm. you in transition to other things i imagine, yeah. right yeah absolutely okay. I, I, that how that happened i uh, it's sort of a funny story, sort of a depressing story. But um, I, I was, I had shot a bunch of actors' headshots, and, and one day one of them came up to me, still while I was an undergrad uh, in grad school, and said, um, "Hey, um, we're getting married. We don't have money for like a real photographer, but like, you know, do you want to come and like take some pictures at the wedding?" And you know, I was like. I guess, sure. I have this like one camera and this one lens. Don't know what the hell that I'm doing. Um, but 
sure, like free trip to the Black Hills of South Dakota and like a small little cabin in the woods. Like what I wouldn't give to shoot that now, by the way. But like, I was like, yeah, sure. So I went on up and like, I didn't know that there was such a thing as wedding photography. I didn't know it was like a thing. I didn't know that there were these rules and stuff that, so I just showed up and shot pictures the only way I knew how. And that was, and that was sort of hunting and finding this narrative and, 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 and seeking out these stories. And, you know, by the time the wedding ended, I was just drenched in sweat and just on cloud nine. I was like, oh, this is amazing. I love this. Why has nobody ever thought of this before? This is, this is great. I can shoot pictures at weddings and everybody's looking good and happy. And it's like fodder for great storytelling. You know, little did I know it was this like ridiculous industry um, that I've, you know, years down the line have a, a wonderful love-hate relationship with. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how kind of that transitioned. And then my my... My couples started having kids and they said, hey, we don't know any other photographers. Can you come shoot our kids? And I was like, yeah, sure. I don't really know how to do that. I've never done it before, but yeah, fake it till you make it. And so I went in and I just did the same thing. I just hung out with these families for a couple hours and shot their life. And uh, out came these really kind of interesting, funny, intimate pictures. And I think a a lot of it is due to the fact that I was at acting school and I sort of learned to temper my energy to the energy of the environment that I'm in, you know, and so that I'm not coming in and disrupting the scene. Um, it's the same thing goes for weddings and families and, you know, being able to be completely present but completely disappear at the same time um, takes a lot of work and a lot of training. And I think that was the, one of the best things I got out of acting school. But, um, wow. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, a, that's a fascinating uh, journey, I guess, for you. It's that, crazy, right? you know, if, I mean, I, I love hearing stories about how photographers got their start and how they're transitioned from one thing to the next. But it seems like your background in acting and in acting school, I guess, has taught you a lot of uh, a lot to in terms of interpersonal skills and things like that. Oh, as well, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Even watching body language, right? Absolutely. It's all body language. Right. You know, the, the, the founding principle of, of sort of, I think, any actors that was trained in the way that I would tr- was trained was that behavior defines character and environment shapes behavior and the images that I want to make um, I would like them to reflect the, that person and who they were at that point of their time at, at that time in their lives and um, and so I'm looking for behavior because behavior defines character and the environment that those people are in will shape and season that 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 behavior a little bit um, and taking that all into account you know ultimately what I'm what I'm shooting is behavior like how people hug or how they relate to each other, or how they toast, or how they have little quiet moments in the back, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, so that's ultimately what I'm hunting for, and and you know, it's one of the best lessons from from acting school. Um, uh, to segue into something that you've done at least a couple of times now, if I remember correctly, is the Roots Workshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and to, so, just to tip my hat to Emily and what she does so beautifully. Uh, with with the Roots Workshop, please tell us a little bit about Roots Workshop and how you got involved with with that. Yeah, the Roots Workshop is um, I will credit as the the most important and beneficial thing that I ever did for my business um, since I've been around. Um, Emily Summers, uh, <clears throat> an incredible uh, family and wedding photographer up in Maine, she runs a great business called Emily Inc. Um, super in demand. You know, she's incredible. She was, she was a, a you know photo editor for USA Today. She's got legit chops. Um, and she started this workshop. Um, it was originally based in Cape Cod. Now it's based in Maine. But what it is is a, cl- a small collection of students, usually ten, and then uh, either you know six, seven. It kind of depends on the year. Instructors, and so each student gets this assignment or chooses their assignment and is out in the field for two days shooting and the mentors go visit them out in the field and kind of coach them and talk to them and things like that. And then they come home each night and have um, a review of all the images, talk about technique, talk about approach, talk about content. Um, and it is mind blowingly amazing. It's, it's intense and incredible. And I went the very first year um, that it was offered. I went as a student and my assignment was to go to this nudist campground and document these old 75, uh, 65, 70 year old um, caretakers uh, of this campground as they were shutting it down for the winter. And they wouldn't let me through the gates unless I participated. So here I am with a headband, a camera on each shoulder and some memory cards stuck into my headband um, on Cape Cod, 
just flapping out into the breeze, you know, <laughs> shooting this in, incredible, incredible couple. Like the the kicker of the whole thing is that it is the most mundane, basic story you've ever seen. It's like old people vacuuming and cleaning and, you know, going for a swim at the beach and closing up campers and things like that. They're just naked. Um, and it was an incredible experience for me. It completely transforms the way that I looked at storytelling and the way that I looked at um, prejudging people and the way that I looked at forming an opinion before I actually got to know what was going on. But anyways, um, incredible experience, completely changed my business and my, my whole philosophy. And the bunch of the years after I was um, documenting the workshop, I would go and shoot all the students, um, you know, incredible teachers. Uh, Greg Gibson was there for a while. Tyler Workin was there for a while. Um, you know, kind of in and out, uh, all sorts of great things. Ed Kashi is going to be there this year. Like, are you kidding me? Like this huge, like incredible, incredible photographer. Um, yeah, he'll be there and, uh, and it's up in Maine. And, um, so the past couple of years I've been an instructor and a, and a teacher there and a mentor. Um, Fantastic. yeah, let's segue into, uh, the inspire photo retreats because right. this is very important that we talk about exactly what you're going to be doing there this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. you're coming back as a teacher as an i'm instructor. doing interpretive dance yeah and there you go excellent yeah. uh, i love it um <laughs> actor right and uh, there you go um wh what is it that you're bringing to us this year i know you, i've sat through your your presentation before on headshots is it you, you've sat you've sat through on the edge of your seat at, at the edge of my seat of course of that's course. right <laughs> and as i told you before we started recording really uh you've inspired me and my business to, to you know to make it happen here in connecticut with awesome. connecticut headshots awesome. um i credit you largely for for inspiring me to to start this business here and really go at it so thanks for doing that but yeah. let's talk about your presentation that inspire sure. because yeah, I think people I'd love to. want to know what are you going to be bringing us this year yeah it's uh it's going to be awesome so it's in the past i have i think this is my fourth time at inspire um the first time i spoke about personal vision uh second time i spoke about the nature of storytelling and its importance and value in our society um and then two years ago i did a headshot talk. Um, it was, it was a, like a 90 minute kind of overview of approach and technique and, uh, you know, kind of like a basic nuts and bolts. Um, this year I'm totally psyched because I have a half day intensive. And so not only is it going to be diving into technique and approach, um, everything from kind of big picture philosophy up through small picture. Um, Hey, I need this type of look, this type of light for this type of client, you know, lighting for your target audience and, and very specific. And so it'll be like half that and then half shooting. We're all going to get up and shoot each other. Um, I'll have a couple of lights with me. Paul at Lens Pro to Go, who is amazing, by the way, is since I'm from Virginia, I can't fly with a lot of stands and stuff. He's going to let me borrow a bunch of things for the workshop. And so people that want to test out new lights or new stuff like that, they'll be able to use that there. Um, but we'll be shooting each other and I'll be in front of the lens. I'll be behind the lens. I'll be over your shoulder you know, shooting and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome because um, it is a free time to experiment and it is a free safe place to fail. Um, and that's one thing that unfortunately I never really had. I never had sort of this, this place where I could shoot and mess up and ask questions as to like, okay, I thought I was doing this, but this is how it looked. Why did this happen? You know, why? I don't, I don't quite understand. Please. And, and I've shot so many headshots in my life. I'm very good at troubleshooting and, and sort of, you know, things like that, but it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so great. I'm, 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 I'm psyched and I, I, I can't wait. I'm not sure if it's full yet, but, uh, I think there's still some, some seats left. So awesome. if folks, folks are thinking about hopping in, please do. I'd love to have you. The more the merrier. Awesome. Uh, last question for you, Eric is, is very simple. Uh, yeah. You, you keep coming back to inspire and clearly mm -hmm. there's, there's a, there must be a reason. Uh, yeah. The fourth time around, or is it going to be the fifth time here? Uh, oh my gosh! Yeah. You, you keep coming back, and uh, you know we'd love to have you, of course. But you know, curious to know what inspires you to come to Inspire. Um, what motivates you to come to Inspire? Yeah, it's you know ever since its inception, when Matt and Anna started it way way back up into sort of how it's transformed now, it's just been a great format. It's mm -hmm. been a really great combination of workshop retreat and networking which i think is very rare because whenever folks go to workshops these days it's kind of one or the other but how they sort of set stuff up is it's it's an incredible place to to 
meet other people and be embraced, but also completely like fill your inspiration bucket with ideas for the for the new season and techniques and get questions answered that you're having trouble, you know, finding on, you know, whatever.com search for answers that I can't find. But um, I, I love the community. I love the people. The New, New England Photography Network is um, is just filled with wonderful folks. And, and you know, I, I, I love it. I, you know, selfishly, I love being there. You know, why, why, why would I not go? It's there awesome. There you go, yeah. yeah. It, it feeds your soul as well as, uh, as, as do, you're able to deliver Absolutely. everything that you Recharge know about. batteries, you know? Yeah, exactly, you, right. You get to this point in the season and you're like, oh, God, I'm excited about next season. I'm still kind of tired from last season. What new directions am I going to take? And it's a great place to just throw a bunch of stuff up on the wall, see what sticks, and, and just kind of fill yourself up with ideas and creative juices. And awesome. Things. So. Eric Loris will be at Inspire Photo Retreats in, well, it's coming up in about yeah, two, yeah. three weeks. Uh, yeah, come on up. <laughs> uh, and 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 as you said, you're gonna you're gonna be teaching about headshots and yep. uh, conducting an intensive course. Actually, yep. so, I'll also be mentoring. Um, so if folks have specific questions about either headshots or running a business or building a studio in an old barn or whatever, sign up for one of the mentoring slots too. Awesome. So, I'm going to yeah. do that because I, I, we already talked about I wanting got to get yeah. coached and mentored by you. So thanks, <laughs> Eric. I appreciate the, the time uh, today. I will see you in a couple of weeks. All right. Bye, everybody. Take care. <laughs>